Let's talk about the importance of shooting unique angles when we're capturing architecture in our photography. So typically we start with that wide angle shot and then we work our way closer and closer to get the detail shots. And it's a great methodology. It's a great approach, but don't miss the opportunity to also get a little bit creative, to think outside the box a little bit and to try and explore and get some unique images in the process. Now it helps to have a very unique structure that you want to photograph, but it doesn't always have to be the case. You can still get unique angles just by thinking outside the box. That can include things like reflections in the glass. We can find puddles because it rained last night and it's a great opportunity to use those when capturing architecture. And I encourage you to explore the opportunity to try and get unique shots and unique angles anytime you're shooting architecture. So right now I'm standing in front of the Oculus. It's an absolutely gorgeous structure. The light's getting really good. I already captured the wide, I captured the tight shots, I captured the details. What can I do to get something different? What can I do to get something a little bit creative? As I turn around right here, I think there's an opportunity actually to get a really interesting, unique angle. And the way the light's hitting it right now, it's just giving me a really beautiful composition. We're getting outside of the typical shot and just working the scene a little bit. Let me show you what I'm working with here. This is what I mean by shooting architecture with unique angles. Right now, it's not as much about the Oculus as it is about a part of the Oculus. We're showing just an angle of the Oculus and we're showing it in a very unique way. So we're gonna use it to frame the other elements in the scene. I'm gonna switch to my 3X here. And maybe it's gonna tilt up a little bit here to get rid of that building in the foreground and just play with the composition just like that. If I wanted to do one more, I'm gonna pinch and zoom to even remove more of the context. And now I'm working with just the very edge of the Oculus. And I'm also working with the reflections inside of the World Trade Center. Perfect, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Now, we're not just gonna stop with this image. When I talk about getting unique angles and exploring the opportunity to shoot things in a very unique way, we need to move around a little bit. We need to work the scene a little bit. And this is a beautiful environment to do that. I have reflective surfaces. It just rained, I have puddles to work with. I'm gonna explore all these opportunities and let's see what we can get. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Now here's the key, I need to know where my lens is. It's important, so right now my lens is on the right hand side. So what I'm gonna do is try and get my lens as close as possible to this glass. So I'm holding this upside down, the phone will correct for it, that's not a big deal. Take a look at that, that is so cool, a perfect mirror reflection. So I'm gonna grab the shot here. I absolutely love it. Use of reflective surfaces, perfect example of trying to get a unique angle on an often photographed structure like the Oculus. That just worked out perfectly. Now there are other reflective surfaces. We used the building in this case, but it just rained last night quite heavily. Let's see if we can use one of those puddles as a reflective surface to get a really interesting and unique perspective on the Oculus as well. So here I found this puddle. This isn't always here, so there's not many opportunities for other photographers to get an angle such as this. If I just take again my phone, figure out where the lenses are and get it as close as I can to that reflective surface. And now take a look at this composition. There's people entering the frame. I'm getting a duplicate image, both on the top and the bottom, of this amazing structure and architecture, and this only happens inside of a reflective surface such as this puddle. So the last thing I want to do to really make the shot stand out is incorporate the human element. So what I'm going to look for is for the right person to enter the frame, and I already have the card stacked in my favor. Because this is a backlit scene, everyone's going to be silhouette just like this. This is what I'm looking for. I'm going to utilize burst mode here to increase the odds of me capturing the exact moment where they enter that negative space. And when they do, just like that, that's what I'm looking for, perfect. I think that's all we need. So finding unique angles, this is your opportunity to walk away with completely unique images. If you stretch yourself a little bit, get outside of your comfort zone, you wanna look for something that's just a little bit different, something that's out of the ordinary, and what you're gonna walk away with are photos that are extraordinary.